Hello friends, this is Growl. Welcome to Waffle Cat Weekly number 25, a series where we open our vaults, talk about the affixes, and complain about how I don't post any more videos because all of my videos keep getting claimed by the YouTube music stuff. Great. Unfortunately, as you see today, we're not logged on to our normal Miss Weaver. Last week was push week. We had to make a little bit of a sacrifice. I decided that our our poor Miss Weaver is just too far behind. I just didn't really feel like doing a weekly key on that guy. There's too much work that needs to be done. So, unfortunately, no vault for our Miss Weaver this week. But the show must go on. We do have some good stuff, possibly on our priest. Continuing with the raid loot, but let's see what our druid gets first. Minuscule mail mental in an envelope. So I don't know how good this trinket is, but I've heard some people say it does okay damage. So I think I'm gonna swap this out for my um first sigil. Just because I don't know how good first sigil really is on a druid anyway. And now I just have like 42% haste, which is pretty comical actually. I have 1400 haste, which I don't know if that's good or not, but it sure feels good. Alright, so not a bad item, not gonna complain about that. Definitely missing some stuff on our druid, but we also don't put too much work into him, so. I think if I ever wanted to like play Druid, I probably could catch him up with just some Valor farm and getting some gear. It's nice because you don't you only need two tier items since the four piece doesn't really matter at M plus. I kinda wonder what druids are doing if they are playing with the four piece. Alright, onto our pally. Check our loot spec. Uh our player. I had to remove my player flame player frame. Okay, we're on holy spec. What does our pally need? Our pally has kind of good gear, actually. We're 276. There's a few upgrades we could definitely use. We have an IQD. That's not what we want. And unfortunately, we only did one key on our pally this week. I don't even think there's a point of taking IQD. So we take our tokens. That's okay. You know, push week. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices to gain IO. And if those sacrifices are my alts, then I don't feel too bad. All right, hopefully our Shaman and our Priest boxes will be a little bit better. Both of these guys got three Mythic Plus slots, and our Priest has some Raid slots as well. Let's see. All right. And there's no reason to check loot spec on Shaman. I never change. It's usually only classes with tank spec that I either like change my spec or to get someone else's. Okay, what do we got here? So a 278 weapon finally, but it's high mastery. A haste verse ring or a haste mastery socketed ring. Hmm. So, oh, I should have just done this, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, no, wait, I got a 278 weapon last week. And I already have this. Okay, so we're taking tokens, I guess. Which might seem bad, but I actually kind of need the tokens on my shaman. Maybe I should be filling out some of the other slots just to get more tokens. My shaman's actually been so lucky in terms of the drops that I've gotten from the vault that I don't have a single socket from tokens. So I actually could very much use these. Another question is, do I get the the crafted thing? I might replace my neck with the crafted ring that has avoidance just because getting avoidance is nice and that's really high verse. My haste is maybe a little higher than it should be, so I don't think I would socket that. I definitely don't want to socket this. Um, what are my other options? My belt was already socketed. I guess probably my helm. My helm is probably the safest socket I can do here. So let's do one of these. These. All right, my first actual socket on this guy. Not even complaining. 316 verse. All right, last character. We're blazing through these. This is what happens when I don't sit on my Miss Weaver for the first five minutes of the video. So our priest advanced further into the raid this week. We managed to kill Anduin and Lords of Dread, which have a lot of good loot for me that I need. Specifically, Anduin has the priest ring, which we would love to have this. And Lords of Dread has these wrists that are a huge up. This is like one of the biggest upgrades I could get. 
and maybe I would use this. I don't know. I don't know about the 285 cloak and the 285 shoulders too. So let's see what we got here. Uh, I'm sure my loot spec is fine. Oh, hold on. The priest ring drops if you're in a shadow loot spec, right? It has to. Loot spec shadow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. I wanted to double check that last week. Just because I'm too dumb to know. All right, we're looking for a priest ring or a... Oh, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. What is this number I see here? 285 tier shoulders, huh? Hmm... Okay, so crit mastery ring. I don't want this crit haste chest. I already have 278 chest. This is pretty nice. This is pretty high verse and has leech. This is kind of tempting. This is kind of tempting because that haste doesn't really do that much for me anyway. Uh, I don't think I take I don't think there's any world. I take this ring just because of these two rings. So the question is, do I take the wrist? If I was caring mostly about raiding, I would take the risk. I don't know. So what do I gain here? I gain six intellect, no, seven intellect and a little bit of stats, like four stats. So I gain 13 stats there versus four. Oh, jeez. So, hmm, so this one, I'm only getting like 10, probably like eight or nine more stats. And this one, I gained 43 leech. But I, I don't know. Do I really care about leech? Hmm. This is a hard one. The wrists are like the only piece where if I got it with a tertiary, it would be really good. Versus a 285 tier piece. Hmm. Does my leech do anything in keys? Do I ha I have a little bit of leech, right? How much does my leech do in keys? 1.8%. I mean, I already have a little bit of leech, right? I feel like all right, so if you were raiding, you definitely take these uh you definitely take these with leech, but first of all, I lose damage because I lose my haste. And yeah, I think I'm just going to go with the shoulders. This on paper might be a mistake. But I'm also the other thing about this is I just want the Lords of Dread wrists anyway. So this isn't really even bis for me. So I think I just go with this. And I hope I get the Lords of Dread wrists. Another option is I wait for my vo I wait for raid. Hmm. So one thing about being a healer is if you get something good, you always have to trade it. But if I take even one of these, hmm, maybe I should wait to see what I get from the raid. And then the problem is we're just, I don't know. We've been sucking lately. We're not going to kill Lords of Dread in one day. That's what I'm worried about. Based off of last week, I don't know if we're going to kill Lords of Dread in one day. I think I'm actually going to wait on my vault. I think I'm going to wait on my vault for raid. And wait to see if I get either the 285 shoulders or the Lords of Dread wrists from the, the raid and then decide. Usually this is something you do early in the season, but it's actually such a close decision that getting like doubling up on an item is going to feel really bad. So that's it. The vault opening video where I don't even open my last vault. Hopefully you guys understand. We wait for raid. We raid later today. I may or may not stream it. Let's see what we got here. This is pet bat or no battlegrounds. Okay, so the weekly quest is battlegrounds. And can I just do this? Uh, I've misplaced my keystone. 30 miss. Oh boy. So the affixes this week are raging, volcanic, tyrannical, and encrypted. I would consider this to be another really, really strong push week. I mean, I think this one is going to feel a lot more relaxed in terms of trash for healers. Last week, some of the trash pulls were nasty. They were like brutal, brutal. Whereas now raging, I think is a lot more of like a thing that the tank has to worry about. Although it's good to use like stuns and help the tank kite during raging. 
like normally speaking you would like use like a cap totem or like a, a stun as the mobs group but this is a week where you kind of want to use it like as the mobs are like below 50 percent to try and benefit from like buying the tank a little bit more time so he doesn't get owned by raging raging is def definitely less scary than it used to be though um yeah well that about does it not much to talk about this week the push week continues we'll be jamming out some keys this week on stream i hope we got uh we did okay we did okay we got all time 28s there's definitely some groups that are way ahead of us and it kind of feels bad you know we are not if it definitely just does not feel like at all we are in competition for rank one we are like almost like actually not almost i think we are literally 200 points behind so maybe we can uh maybe we can step it a little bit up on tyran i know we have a lot of 27s to clean up on tyran that we should be able to do 29s on but who knows what they're gonna do echo and the aster y squad and everybody so thanks for watching friends i appreciate y'all and uh happy keying